Hi, thanks for joining me. Today we're going to talk about poor behaviour in stepchildren, what it means and what you can do about it. Hi, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell and I'll let you know every time I post. What to do when stepchildren behave particularly badly. You can think when you go into a step family that the children will be normal range, you know, that their behaviour will be perfectly uh, acceptable but that because they're children of a particular age or teenagers of a particular age you expect a certain amount of childish or teenage type behaviors but that they will be you know they will respond to normal uh, parental guidance and instruction and that uh, they will be like normal kids but this is so often not the case. So often, stepchildren can behave really badly in the home. They can be rude beyond anything that you would expect of them. I mean, some kids are rude all the time. You know, they have a tendency to always be a bit off, but sometimes, a stepchild can be perfectly, what would you seem to be perfectly okay or normal, but then they can be particularly rude to you or their, their parent, your partner. Uh, or in a certain situation, they can behave particularly badly, out of character almost. Or perhaps they just, you know, they just, their behaviour is just not what it should be for the type of child they are. I want to say this, and that is that in a step family, behaviour is not always normal range. And people are behaving in different ways because of what's going on inside them or how they're being influenced or the past. All these things can make a difference and your stepchild can have behaviours that therefore make them very difficult to cope with. Because actually it's not normal range and it's not okay and it can make you the step parent feel the outsider, not welcome, um, rebuffed, inappropriately rebuffed, uh, just terrible. You can feel that to solve this problem, you'd be better off splitting up or leaving the home or um, having no contact with the child or as little as possible contact with the child. But the thing I want to say to you is this, that I believe that all behaviour happens for a reason. And one of the things that you can do when you're having problematic behaviour from your stepchildren is to work out what the reason is for the behaviour you're witnessing. This reason, which brings out negative behaviour, and that negative behaviour can be a whole range of things, can be projected to a different place from where it's coming from. That place is often the step parent, and I'll tell you why. It's because it's easy to project to the step parent, because they're the newcomer. They're the person who is like, who's like symbolic of the fact that things are moving on. They don't know and haven't had a relationship with you up until now. 
So it's easy for them to bottle up the negative emotions they're feeling and turn them onto a step parent. So the step parent in response is best to seek out why they think the problem behavior is happening and most importantly, not to take it personally. Not to take it personally. This is not about you, not about you not being kind enough or sympathetic enough or not understanding enough or wanting things to move on in a negative way. All you're trying to do is to work out the reason why this child is choosing behavior to communicate something that they're upset about or fearful of or just angry about. Now, understanding the reason why this is happening is not necessarily going to provide the solution for you. It does in a way make you feel a bit better about yourself so that you know that it's not personal, you can understand where it's coming from, the behavior has a reason and you can understand the reasoning. But also it's about then being able to set up something to help the child. I mean, so much, so many times bad behavior is a communication. It's a cry for help. It's help me, I'm so angry. Help me, I'm so sad. Help me, I'm so confused. Help me, I'm not doing well anymore at school with my friends. I don't feel good about myself anymore. Those are the kinds of messages that your stepchildren are likely to want to be conveying. It's a bit like, you know, when you go into floods of tears and you think to yourself, I'm so sad. You want somebody to come along and say, what's the matter? And then you can say, well, I'm, I'm so unhappy about this. And then you can share it. And then a plan can be made for how to make yourself feel a bit better. The same with an angry child. But it's so easy to rebuff an angry child, punish them or tell them they shouldn't be angry. They shouldn't be rude. But actually, if you re reinterpreted that communication for that anger, for help me, pay attention to me. I can't do what I used to be able to do with my friends. I, I'm not getting on or um, I don't feel loved. No one cares anymore. No one's paying attention to me. If you treat poor behavior from a stepchild as a communication, slip below the projected behavior you're getting and speak to the child about what is the deep emotion they're feeling, which is bringing out the behavior and talk about that. Support them by getting them to express it and then plan for how things could be made a bit better for them. That way you can address bad behavior in stepchildren. So often it's about listening, not punishing. We run workshops, whole sessions, we write booklets, um, we write, have an email response service, and you can find the links to our website and social media in the description box below.